Hi hey everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crate Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a facade. We're just going to make a front face to a building. And uh, this little technique is going to be good for if you need uh, a window and a door in a building or you know a series of windows and doors to kind of take up some space. Uh, this is going to be good for that. Let's go ahead and drop a spline object into our scene. Like that. And face the front and grab your pen tool oh before you do anything push command J and make sure your snap 2 is turned on this is really going to help you in this thing anytime you're making any any uh, making buildings or any kind of, uh, of uh, precise shape keep your snap 2 turned on it, it might be a good idea to turn it on in your preferences and just have it on every time uh, push OK let's grab a pen and let's start making our building start at the bottom go up, go to the right, go down, left, up, left, down, left, up, left, down, left, and now you have a, a front face to a building. Let's uh, drag these over a little bit. Go, oh, let's drag these over a little bit there, drag this over here, let's go up, select all these guys, oh, come on now, grab all these guys and bring them down, and you notice how, uh, you notice how it's not going completely to the edge, and if I did go to the edge, it would overshoot it. I kind of like a little safe area around there. That's why I have my grid set at uh, 0 0.05. Now, if you want, if you want to make it, and you can set it in your preferences, uh, if you want to make it smaller or bigger, if there's something that you do on a pretty regular basis, uh, you can adjust, you can tweak it down to 0 0.001 and get a really tight grid if you want. But uh, yeah, having it that small kind of freaks me out. So let's bring it. bring it over here pop that back in and everything's back to normal now let's uh, make a window and put it right about there gotta play with these too much let's go ahead and copy paste and paste again so we can have three windows of all this of the uh, exact same size let's bring this over just a little bit more you can get it all the way to the edge there see how you can do that now let's go ahead and push uh, command A make sure everything's selected let's go to a range combine this compound and there's a a good beginning to a good facade uh, yeah, not a whole lot of tweaking you got to do here. Let's jump to the director's camera. And that's kind of thick. Let's grab our line and bring it down here. And that might be a little too thin, but that's that's how I like it. That's how I like my facades to be, just about like that. Kind of fits in with the brick a little bit. Or the brick that I made. I made a little texture for this. And this is uh, this is what we want. Let's go ahead and push our hot point to object so that's all centered you can even bring that down if you want to but uh, I have a plane that I want to bring in here actually let's bring the plane here zero 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 oh, one that up here and that kind of close to the center there and now that you have it in the, in the frame you push shift and then grab the spline object go command J or uh, that's fine command K we're just gonna line everything right in the middle there we go now you got to do is just select that bring it up And see how that makes a, a nice 
a slight shadow there that that kind of helps sell the effect uh, of there being a window there you know if you have transparency and it catch uh, cast a little bit of shadow that that gives it a realistic bent uh, let's grab another shader drop it in the front here and you see how the oh, I don't know if you can see it but you, you see how the windows kind of cut into the brick a little bit if you need to do any tweaking you can do that via your jumping back in here selecting that uh, break apart compound and then you can you can tweak your windows like you want uh, I like that size though and uh, that'll make your that'll make your uh, uh, draw it how you want draw your spacing out let's go ahead and bring that to point oh three and I like these proportions let's go ahead and keep the proportions you can check or uncheck this. I have mine checked. And uh, I want the width to be uh, 2. If you tab, that'll make it like that. Same thing here. Take the 40 off of it, 2. Tab. And 2. Tab. Now let's see what we got. Let's go all. Combine this compound. See how it fits on our texture. Yeah, it's not quite what we want. But if you want to take a little time with it, tweak it a little bit, you can get it as close to these edges as you want. Uh, and, uh, you know, kind of get a good effect. Now, this is a good front face to a building. Something you want to do is you want to add geometry to it. You want to add geometric shapes to kind of, to kind of, to kind of show that uh, there that it's a building that you know it was made to specific um, standards zero uh, something that something that you can add to it you can add conduit you can add a meter yeah it's a little thick that down you can add ledges duplicate and then duplicate it's a little bit off but that'll fly just to show you what the idea is about so yeah keep adding to it doors of course curbs uh, a trash can graffiti just start adding stuff to it uh, if you need it if you need a shape that uh, kind of helps you sell the effect of a wall being there with a, a big building or a building uh, this is a good way to do it so uh, check it out play around with it get uh, get what you want to get with it and uh, put it in your scene and knock people out with it <laughs> uh, yeah you can do uh, you can do some cool things with the spline modeler just uh, gotta play around with them anyway that's it for this time I'm Kreitman and I'll talk to you again later